Chris Brown is exposing P. Diddy. Now, this all started with the 40-foot bed that P. Diddy had in his backyard. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, P. Diddy threw this huge party, and we have the receipts right here. There's a big bed that P. Diddy had in this backyard, 40 foot. Now, in the video, you can see women hanging out in the bed and things of that nature. Now, this is one of P. Diddy's crazy parties and stuff like that. But apparently, a lot of the footage that a uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion's videographer might have, or apparently the Jay-Z and Beyonce footage from the P. Diddy party was at P. Diddy's 50th birthday party. Yep, The Root asked if Megan Thee Stallion was the female Diddy after her cameraman exposed her parties. The stage was set, the players were in position, and the drama unfolded as Megan Thee Stallion, the chart-topping artist behind anthems like Hot Girl Summer, faced a new kind of spotlight that cast long shadows of controversy and legal battles. The curtain rose on a lawsuit filed by Emilio Garcia, a former cameraman who painted a picture of a hostile work environment riddled with harassment and unprofessional conduct. The allegations were as bold as they were scandalous, claiming that Megan subjected Garcia to an unwanted viewing of sexual activity in a moving vehicle during a trip to Ibiza, Spain in June 2022. As the news broke, the public's reaction was a mix of shock, disbelief, and voracious curiosity. Social media platforms became battlegrounds as fans and critics alike weighed in on the explosive claims. Amidst this frenzy, The Root, an African-American-oriented magazine, dropped a bombshell comparison that sent ripples through the digital landscape. Their now-deleted tweet, Is Megan Thee Stallion the female Diddy? Crazy sexual harassment allegations show we never know celebs, garnered over 228,000 views, igniting a back backlash that blazed through Twitter like wildfire. The Roots parallel between Megan and Diddy, both high-profile figures in the music industry who have faced legal challenges, was met with swift backlash from the online community. Cultural critic Carolyn Hines was among the vocal critics, taking to Twitter to denounce the comparison as inappropriate and a form of journalistic malpractice. And P. Diddy's white parties. Okay, these are the, these are the things circulating around. Now, Chris Brown has spoken up and a lot of people are piecing things together. Now there's this one scene where P. Diddy is pulling Chris Brown to come into the bed and Chris Brown does not want to go into the bed because he knows some of the crazy stuff that happens at these P. Diddy parties. Now if you guys don't know, this was brought to you by Soulful. I'm going to show you their receipts in a minute what they're about to say. But Jay-Z and Beyonce have still, till this day, and Jennifer Lopez, they have not said anything at all, but we're going to keep you updated on all the hottest tea with the PDD scandal. So keep it locked in. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment because I can't get a like to save my life. A lot of fans are saying that Chris Brown literally dodged the bullet because when Chris Brown was trying to get signed, he went to P. Diddy and P. Diddy said, I don't like this light skin N word to his face. And Chris Brown was a really young kid. I, I think that's so messed up for P. Diddy to even just label him light skin N word because he's more than, than that. Not only do I feel like P. Diddy is misogynistic and so many other things, but I feel like being a colorist like that, it's like he's I hate when people say that, like, oh, he's light skin, he's dark skin, like, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. Focus on the talent. And P. Diddy once again dropped the ball because if P. Diddy would have signed Chris Brown, it would have made P. Diddy so much money. But just in the case of 50 Cent, when P. Diddy did not sign 50 Cent, again, he lost out on more money. And, like, P. Diddy just seems to always let, like, raw talent slip through his hands. But what I have been noticing is that P. Diddy will degrade people and then sign them for one album and then shelve it and it never comes out or all these songs never come out and he kind of maybe uses that as power over people's heads and oh he'll give them like that one hit single and then that's it that he'll never mess with them again but he has them signed and I've noticed that it's like PDD doesn't follow through with raw talent and in this case he always seems to just miss out on raw talent when I look back at groom uh, grooms <laughs> the grooming when I look back at groups like Dream and Danity Kane and things like that. I'm thinking like, man, P. D. just really drops the ball. You remember making the band? Remember all that stuff? Like he just drops the ball with so many of these people. And I feel like he almost thinks of them as objects. Now, I'm going to roll you this clip from Soulful, what they have to say about Chris Brown exposing and coming out against P. Diddy. So here we go. Roll it. Hello. 
already know I'm tuned into all the hottest tea and juiciest gossip going down in the entertainment scene. And today, I got a heck of a story for you. So, we all know Chris Brown, right? The singer, dancer, occasional actor, and just an all-around talented dude. Well, he recently spilled some major secrets about what really goes down at Diddy's infamous party scenes. And let me tell you, it's some wild stuff. According to Breezy himself, when he was just a young kid trying to make it in the music industry, he got invited to one of Diddy's exclusive shindigs. Now, we all know Diddy is the ultimate party king, so for a young up-and-comer like Chris, this was the getting a go. As a, as a 12, 13 year old, I was in that elevator party, crying like right. a mother. So, I but did. you knew who Diddy was, right? Like, of course, of course. And and at the pinnacle, I'm like. Oh. According to Chris, Diddy straight up told him, "Nah, I don't like this light skin." Can you believe that? Dissing a young kid like that and seemingly judging him based on his skin tone. I like this too. I don't like this light skin. Nigga. This nigga. I am. I, don't, mm. I said. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not cool. Ouch. Dissing a young kid like that is just not cool at all. But little did Chris know at the time, he may have actually dodged a major bullet with that rejection. But wait, it gets even messier. Chris claimed that while Diddy wasn't feeling him, his darker skinned friend allegedly ended up getting invited to more of Diddy's notorious parties. See, there were all kinds of rumors swirling around about Diddy allegedly preying on young artists that he's supposed to be mentoring. Some folks are even speculating that Chris's darker skinned friend, who did end up getting invited to Diddy's parties, may have been targeted in some seriously messed up ways. And it doesn't even stop there. Breezy also dropped a bombshell about a disturbing incident at one of Diddy's notorious shindigs. He claimed there's party footage of him desperately trying to get away from a giant bed while Diddy was pulling him towards it. I see what we're doing. Now, fans are alleged that need to be brought to light. Anyway, let's wait. Ah, uh, grab a snack and come on back. Okay, you guys, so on the lips today, I am still, I have it right here. I'm still using the Clarinets Paris lip oil. You can get this at like Macy's and stuff like that. I'll put it down below in the YouTube shop. I have it on right now. And then I also, I touched myself up with the, because I was using the Chanel bronzer and all that stuff like that. But I touched myself up with the, because I've been shooting videos all day long. And like, this is how... I can keep it together, okay? I use the Milani Cheek Kiss. You guys, I know I love this, and I can tell you I love it because look, I've already hit pan. Okay, hold on, here you go. All right, so I'll link that below along in the YouTube shop. I love this drugstore makeup. You can pick it up right here. This is a cream bronzer, but I use it as foundation. So I put it over the makeup I already had, because I already had like a full face. I used like that Chanel powder I told you guys about. So I'll link that below too, if I can remember to. I'm the king of like saying stuff, but I don't ever link it, okay. Anyways, all that to say this, and I'm really glad that Chris Brown didn't follow through with P. Diddy co contract, but I don't think it was really Chris Brown. I think it was more like just like P. Diddy not wanting to sign him. But then again, I have a feeling that Chris Brown's friend, I don't know, because there's they, like, if you watch the clip back again, there's like another guy that Chris Brown was with, and it seems like that person was targeted, and that's, that was their words, not mine. And I kind of felt like maybe, maybe P. Diddy like looked at Chris Brown and saw him to be intimidating and went for the other person. But you know, there's this whole thing in the industry that you can sleep your way to the top and you know, I, I always felt like stuff like that was happening in big business, but I never thought it would be happening like in the P. Diddy world. Like, yes, I heard of, of P. Diddy being like a little like uh, gender fluid, okay, which is fine, but I didn't think it was like this bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So let me know what you think of all that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Flux with the hottest celebrity news on